Hello and welcome to Bishop Fleming's second restructuring series. I'm Jack Callow, joined by Luke Venner. How are you today, Luke? Very good, thank you. Yourself? Very well indeed. Today we're going to talk about turnaround, um, which is we a very are. interesting topic. Mm. Um, and I think the best way to kick it off is let's paint a little bit of a scenario. Mm -hmm. So we've got a business uh, that's in trouble and the directors are confident that there is a future here. Um, but don't really know where to turn next. What's, what, what does sort of turnaround look like? Where, where, where do we go from here? Well, I think the, um, the first thing to say is probably, you know, half the battle is, is, is appreciating that there is a problem in, you know, taking advice. And it's always the case that the directors who, who take that early advice, you know, they normally, you know, they've got a better chance of coming out of it more, more sort of favourably. So you recognise there's an issue, which is a, you know, it's a very good start. Um, the, the, the initial advice bit is around, first of all, understanding what the crux of the problem is. Because um, if you don't know what the problem is, you, you can't react to it. So is there an underlying uh, issue within the business? Is, is there a flaw, you know, flaw with the business model? Um, is, the debt, uh, is, is the debt in the business too high? So is the, you know, is the company too highly geared? Um, that, that causes issues in terms of cost, debt repayments, that sort of thing. Is there a legacy issue in the, in the business? So, you know, has a new management team inherited a problem with an old management team? It could be some old, old tax debts, for example, mm -hmm. that are just causing an ongoing problem. So it's about understanding what the problem is, first of yeah. all. Once you've done that, it's then about trying to assess where the business is going. So coming back to the model, the, the business model point, are we happy that there's a you know, sound business model? Do we have a business plan in place to, to ensure that the business is going in the right direction? Almost giving it a purpose to bother with the turnaround in effect. It, it, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's about, yeah, it's about trying to understand why that, yeah. why that turnaround is going to, you know, wh why and how sort of thing. Yeah. Um, it's about understanding the numbers because lots of companies that we, you know, we deal with haven't got sound forecasts mm -hmm. in place. So the directors, you know, they, they, they think that there's a business there, but they don't appreciate, you know, how, how cash is going to change going forward. So it's about getting under the, the skin of the numbers and you know, coming up with some forecasts. Those forecasts might demonstrate that the company needs injections of cash, so then you can react accordingly. But it's all about you know, making sure that it, it's, it's moving forward on the right trajectory. Okay. So we've got a business uh, with full marks for spotting the problem in the mm -hmm. first place. Mm -hmm. I love that. Um, we need to identify the problem. We need to look at the purpose, where's it going, where's it moving forward. Um, what does the actual process look, you know, what's the next step in terms of actually achieving the goal of getting it back to where it needs to be in terms of business performance? Okay, so turnaround will probably fall into one of two camps and it will, it will very much depend on the severity of the problem. So option, option A, which I think we all, we all agree is, is the better option, is about what, what input can we provide to the existing company to ensure that the existing company can avoid an insolvency, because that's ultimately the, you know, always has to be the, the end goal. It's about what input, you know, we can provide and other people can provide to a business to make sure that it can continue to trade and, you know, hopefully improve its performance. So it will be looking at, you know, the, the costs within the business. Are there areas of cost that we can, that we can cut, for example, uh, to make it more lean, more efficient? Uh, looking at revenue, are there you know other opportunities in different markets? Um, do you want to be trading with different customers? There's lots of points around sort of credit control, that that sort of stuff. Um, are we happy that you know that the, the business model is sound? Are there things that we can that we can bring to the table around the business model? Uh, it might be that debt restructuring um, that we look at separately in a different video that might help to again improve performance in the form of lower lower debt uh, lower debt uh, repayments. Mm -hmm. There are all sorts of things that you know we can bring to the table, but it's about trying to improve the the position of the existing business. So that's that, that's option A. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's possible, sometimes it isn't. Yeah. Again, coming back to the severity point, it will sometimes be the case that you've got a company that, okay, we've, we're all in agreement, it's got a future, but it, the the debt is just just hampering the company, mm -hmm. um, and and you know it just can't sort of trade its way out of its difficulties. We can then look at restructuring within insolvency. Mm -hmm. um, so things like CVAs, which yeah. you know a lot of our viewers hopefully will have seen in the in you know in the press around some of the biggest retailers in the country. We've got things called pre-pack administrations, um, which again is an insolvency, but it's about packaging up the business, protecting the business, and trading that business through a different vehicle. Um, 
insolvency is very, you know, it's very specialised um, and, and quite complicated. So you need, you know, particular particular advice in that scenario. But it, it boils down to how can we protect the business, um, yeah. and you know, how do we do right by all the stakeholders yeah. who have got an interest in the company? Brilliant. It's an absolute feast. I think we can agree, and, yeah. and things to think about. Um, and you touched on a, uh, a couple of other video titles, which is nice. So mm-hmm. hopefully you, you you'll tune in to hear a little bit more detail around those around you know debt um, and uh, creditor pressure and, and and the other the other things we're going to be talking about, including um, mergers and acquisitions. Um, thank you so much, Luke, for your insight. No worries. Um, thank you. Fantastic to hear uh, your views on turnaround. Mm-hmm. Um, Hopefully you will join us for the rest of the series. Um, Luke's been Luke, I've been Jack. Thank you for watching.